Now, because I'm actually recording this, I'm not going to mention the particular pupil who can't get this. So, very sorry about this. Now, 4x squared minus 8x plus 9y squared plus 36y equals negative 4. First step, put the x's together, put the y's together. So now let's, uh, now let's look at that and think, oh man, that's really, really complicated. Hang on a minute, can I divide everything by 4? No. Yeah, good, just, just a minute, I'm getting there. So it's quite right. So completing the square is much, much easier if you've just got an x, isn't it? Yes, so why don't you write 4 brackets x squared minus 2 plus 9 brackets y squared plus 4. There should be an x there and a y there, sorry, equals negative 4. Is that making sense? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That makes our life a lot, lot easier, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's complete the little square in there then. So that's going to be an x minus 1 squared. Don't forget there's a 4 there. Okay. <laughs> plus 9 brackets y plus 2 squared. So now let's look at that. That's going to have a plus 1 times by 4 is going to give us an extra 4. Okay. That's going to be 4 times 9 is 36. So we've got an extra 36 there. So therefore, we now know that 4 x minus 1 squared plus 9 brackets y plus 2 squared minus 40 equals negative 4. Okay, because this one gives us 4, this one gives us 36. So in order to get to, oops, in order to get to negative 4, that's why, that's why there's no equals here. Yeah? I've got to take away 40 to get back to where I started from. So, very nicely now, watch, this, this comes out really good. x minus 1 squared plus 9 brackets y plus 2 squared equals 36. Okay, I told you it was an ellipse. In order to gain an ellipse, this has to be 1. So we divide everything by 36. Okay, so by dividing by 36, let's just cut a couple of corners. So we end up with x minus 1 all squared over 9 plus y plus 2 all squared over 4 equals 1. Bang. Done.